ratio of the earnings of A and B is 4 is to 7. If the earnings of A increases by 50% and those of B decrease by 25%, the new ratio of their earning becomes 8 is to 7. What is A's earning? Now, if we consider A and B as the, their earnings, it is given that A and B, the ratio of those is 4 is to 7. So I can say that A is 4x and B is 7x. And x is a common factor of A and B. Right. Now, A's salary increases by 50%. So the new salary of A, A1 is equals to increase by 50% of 4x. So 150% of 4x. So 150 by 100 times 4x. Okay. Now B's salary decreases by 25%. So I can write B1, the new salary of B is equals to 100 minus 25% of 7x, which is 75% of 7x. So 75 upon 100 times 7x. Now this ratio of their new earnings is 8 by 7. 8 is to 7. So this if I divide A1 by B1, it is equal to 8 by 7. These hundreds get cancelled out. X gets cancelled out. So what we have is 150 times 4 by 75 times 7 is equal to 8 by 7. Now, can you go further ahead? Do you have any variables value to be found out? We cannot find the value of x. x cannot be found because there's no such extra data that is given to us. So hence, the data is inadequate in this question. You cannot find anybody's earning. So option D is the correct answer that can be marked in this question. The fourth proportional to 5, 8, 15 is. Well, if you have um, a proportion like this, if you have two ratios A is to B proportionate to some other ratio C is to D, then A is the first proportional, B is the second proportional, C is the third and D is the fourth proportional. Right. And these numbers A, B, C and D are in proportion. Now use this analogy to solve this question. We have been given three numbers 5, 8, 15. Let the fourth number be x. And these are in proportion. Now when these numbers are in proportion I can say that the ratio 5 is to 8 is proportionate to the ratio 15 is to x. So therefore 5 by 8 is equals to 15 by x. You know a pro what a proportion is, right? Proportion is nothing but equality of ratios. So therefore we can find out the value of x from here. x is equals to 15 times 8 by 5. 5 3 is a 15. So therefore x is 3 8 is a 24 and we have our answer. Option B. X varies inversely as square of Y. Given that Y is equal to 2 for X is equal to 1, the value of X for Y is equal to 6 will be equal to. So you have to find out the value of X when Y is equal to 6. Well, x is proportional to y. So we can take the ratio of x to y and um, find the new value for x when y is equal to 6. So we have y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 1. And we have y is equal to 6 and we have to find out the value of x. Right. So taking the ratio we, we can say that this is proportional. We can write it as 2 by 1 is equal to 6 by x when the value of y is 6 right so x is equal to 6 by 2 and that is 3 and you may mark option 1 as the correct answer
but that's not the correct answer. Why you cannot solve this is because x is not directly proportional to y. x is inversely proportional to the square of y. So you cannot solve it traditionally using proportion, right? So let us remove this stuff and solve this question correctly. So x varies inversely as a square of y. So this can be written as x is inversely proportional to y square. This is another way of writing proportions. You may have heard this in your physics classes. So x is inversely proportional to y square. So what I can do to make this an equation, actually you need to add a constant. So I can write this as x is equals to some constant times this another term. So k times 1 by y square. Right, therefore x is equals to k by y square. This is the basic equation that yields the value for y and x when some value is taken. So when we put the value of y as 2 and x is 1 in this equation, we can get the value of k. So for y is equals to 2 and x is equal to 1, we have x's value as 1 is equals to k by y square, so 2 square. Therefore, k is equals to 4. So the value of this constant k is 4. Now we need the value of x when value of y is 6. So for y is equals to 6, we have x is equals to k is 4 by y square. So y is 6. So 6 square and 6 square is 36. So 4 times 9 is 36. So x is 1 by 9. So we have our answer as option D and not as option A.